Like a taser, an electric eel can generate enough current to stun its prey. These so-called weakly electric fish generate electricity too, but not enough to do any harm. With the proper equipment, you can even hear an electric hum. These fish are unique in that they produce and detect electric fields, and they use these electric fields in social communication and to detect objects. Neuroethologist Eric Fortune traveled to Ecuador to study the weakly electric knife fish in its native habitat. Back at Johns Hopkins University, his research partner, mechanical engineer Noah Cowan, and others are studying the knife fish in the lab. He says it uses its electric field as a sixth sense, not only to communicate, but to navigate its surroundings and to find its next meal. There's a small organ in the tail of the weekly electric fish that generates an electric field, and then that electric field envelops the entire animal. When an object passes through the field, the fish has receptors on its skin to detect it. There's little voltage sensors all over the surface of the skin, and as an object com comes by, the voltage changes and it, and it says, aha, lunch. Or it says, I'm going to be lunch, and it runs away. Each fish generates its own unique frequency, which can change when other knife fish are near. When the two fish come by, their two pitches begin to interact much like two singers' pitches would interact. And what we've done is really began to explore how multiple fish, more than two, interact. The fish will swim both forwards and backwards using his ribbon fin. And when the lights go out and it's hard for the fish to see, they seem to lean even more on their electro sense to navigate. When the lights are on, they, you move the tube and they're just tracking along like this. When you turn off the lights, they start sort of almost like they're feeling around with their electrosense. They start moving around back and forth. The goal is to understand how the brain of this unique animal controls its behavior. And engineers at Northwestern University are developing a highly agile robot that may one day use a similar sixth sense to monitor the health of coral reefs or navigate the dark, murky waters of an oil spill. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.